Good morning, skiers and riders. Sugarloaf and Carabasset Valley. Hope you're ready for a great weekend of racing, as well as enjoying the outdoors here at the mountain, as well as in the main High Peaks region. This is brought to you by Geppettos. Find them in Village West. They've got some live music going on this afternoon for Apare. And if you want to find out more about what's going on, check us out at WSKITV.com. Partly sunny skies for today. We're seeing some clouds first thing this morning. Uh, is that... Uh, the day progresses, we should see that sunshine out there with a high of 36 degrees at the base and highs up towards the summit in the upper 20s. And we'll see a light wind as well out there. 25 to 29 will do it for your summer temperatures on Saturday with base temperatures 32 to 36. With that wind switching over to the south and southeast, barely noticeable up towards the summit with partly sunny skies. Some snow, some mixed precip for the day on Monday with high temperatures right around 35 degrees with lows in the upper 20s up towards the summit. Tuesday and Wednesday looks like we'll see more of the same of that mixed precip out there. Uh, could see snow higher on the hill and some uh, mixed showers down towards the bottom of the access road. Saturday, March 25th, that's today. Birchwood Interiors brings you this trail report. Check them out in Village West. Narrow gauge is closed for the race that's going on this weekend, but be sure to spectate. Uh, there's plenty of places along the course. We've got 137 trails to ski and ride on 13 lifts getting into those runs. 77 trails groomed out last night. Trails like Tote Road, Timberline, Hayburner, King's Landing, White Nitro Wedge, Gandhi Line, Competition Hills, Spillway, and Sluice. Um, <clears throat> they also got Pipeline, uh, Lower Winter's Way, Candy Side, Boardwalk, The Landing, The Birches, and Snowbrook. Over on the east side of the mountain, uh, they got Hallback, Choker, Flume, Widowmaker, and Ramdown, as well as Two Hall, Whiffle Tree, Lower Boom Auger, Lower Pole Line, Slasher, Rollway, Cruiser, and Moose Alley. Uh, they also got Stubbs Trail, Springboard, Buckboard, Lower Glancer, uh, and Choker, uh, as I mentioned before, and a couple trails over on the west side, all smoothed out as well. Should be in great shape first thing this morning. And first thing this morning, 8 o'clock, just number. That's the lift to get you up from the Snowbrook condos and whatnot. Uh, get you up to the base lodge, 8.30, Skidway and Sawduster, move you around the base area. And then at 9 a.m., the Muscalator lift will get going. That's the conveyor lift, which gets you up and down the Birch's Slope. Double runner east and west get going at 8.30 as well. They get you a little higher on the hill, runs down Boardwalk, and also drops you right off at the base of Skyline. That gets you up to Spillway Crosscut, which allows you to branch out all across the mountain. Super Quad gets you to a variety of mid-mountain terrain. Those lifts open up at 8.30, and first thing this morning at 8 o'clock, West Mountain gets going. That gets you up from the golf course. So over on the east side of the mountain, Wiffle Tree and King Pine. More expert terrain off the King Pine Lift. Wiffle Tree, more of an intermediate area. If you've got kids, check out Moose Alley and the Cruiser Terrain Park. Right off the Wiffle Tree Quad, nice fast Super Quad. Timberline gets going at 9 a.m., and that gets you up to the summit, and you've got a easy trail, the Timberline Trail, to take down from the top of that, or check out um, some of the others off of the front face. Retail Shop has a sale down at the School of Outdoor Center. They've got about 60K of cross-country skiing trails as well down there. Great snowshoeing conditions in the woods with the nice fresh coating of snow we got overnight last night. Also, it's going to help out those snowmobile trails. The groomers have been out and doing their thing, and the trails are in great shape out on the snowmobile. A great way to see the main High Peaks region in a different uh, from a different point of view. Also, the Groomers Ball is happening this weekend at the Stratton Plaza. U.S. Alpine Championships, things kick off this morning. Uh, men's and women's uh, Super G happens today. Uh, and then opening ceremonies later on tonight on the beach with the Parade of Athletes and a fireworks celebration. And check out this public hearing uh, for Micro Enterprise Assistance Grant uh, for Winter Stick Snowboards. <clears throat> they uh, want you to meet down at the uh, Carabasset Town Office at 4.30 for that public hearing, so check that out. And Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, that's where you'll find us on social media. You'll always find us on our website as well at WSKITV.com, where we've got lots of videos of things to do to keep you busy. Each one of those a reason to stay another day here in our region. And you got to check out the quad cam button on there as well for some great time-lapse photography as well as live video and weather information so you can see exactly what the conditions are like and what's happening uh, and what has happened right at the base of the Super Quad with our WSKITV.com quad cam.